You know, I've always wanted to live in one of these houses. Great location, next to the train station, a lot of noises everywhere, beautiful sky, super brown. But then I wonder, would living in one of these houses make me happy? You know, I've had some pretty dark times in my life before, but I've always thought of myself as happy. I can't say that right now. I'm in a foreign country, I have no job, no family, few friends, and most days I just don't feel like myself at all. So yahoo everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about happiness. I want to ask you guys this question. Would you consider yourself, right now, a happy person? And I'm going to answer this question for myself. No. My original answer was yes, but... If there's a but in the answer, you're suppressing some of those bad feelings and that unhappiness and those negative emotions. And I've probably been doing that my whole life. And I'm not sure if I want to continue telling myself I'm a happy person when I don't feel like it. Joy and excitement are different emotions than happiness. And happiness is usually the one that's like glorified. You know, it's either sad or happy, angry or happy. Tired or awake, it's usually happiness that's glorified and I feel like a lot of people, definitely myself included, don't ask themselves whether they're happy or not. One of the reasons we tend not to feel happy with ourselves is because we stop doing the things that we love. For example, I love to write and I love to write by hand. So much so that I have this folder I bought at the Shonen Jump Store to put all of my writing in. But this folder can't even hold all the writing that I do, so I have another folder where I move all my previous writing into. And then after that folder gets full, I put all the writing into a drawer and I save it for later so I can read it again. But this year especially, my writing by hand has been almost non-existent. I've stopped my habits that have built me up to where I am today, and I've just been, I've been floating in a river of life. Sinking could be when you're sad. Swimming could be when you're happy. But when you're floating, you're just like passive. And I think living a passive life doesn't necessarily lead to real happiness. Genuine personality, authenticity. These words that were mentioned to us in our freshman orientations of college, but never in the sophomore year, or the junior, or the senior. So now I'm here in Spain, alone, small YouTube channel, small Twitch following, small Instagram following, even though I've tried so much, and that stuff is external. All of these monikers are external. They're not gonna make me happy or not. I think that the achievement doesn't bring the happiness. It's the feeling that comes with working towards the achievement that brings the happiness. And perhaps I've just lost that feeling because I've stopped doing the work. I think that's probably what's it. I've just stopped doing the work because happiness is not something you deserve. It's something you have to work for. And if you're not working for something, you're gonna find it very hard to be happy. I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to try to bring this life experience to you because I've been to Japan, I've been to South Korea, I've been to Hong Kong, Taiwan, Italy, Hungary, Romania, Spain, America. I've been to a couple of countries around the world and I've done quite a few things, but those were all external. Happiness is an internal mechanism and we really have to work on our insides. We have to work on our, on our person, on our character in order to, to feel it. And, and that's what I want to do. And that's the content I want to bring to you guys from now on. I don't want to make videos that show you a side of me that isn't being authentic. And yeah, that's the video for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.
Pfeifer Hecht.